One year ago today, 20 year old Brandon Ellingson drowned after being arrested and handcuffed at the Lake of the Ozarks. Today, friends and family took time to remember his life, hoping a new civil lawsuit will bring justice. KCCI's Jason Randall has the news story. It was 5 23. Brandon Ellingson died in police custody after drowning in the lake. Today, friends and family celebrated Brandon's life just one day before Brandon's father meets arresting officer Anthony Piercy for the first time. Just to know that he's not, I'm not going to be able to see him again, it's tough. Holding back the tears is tough for Craig Ellingson. Speaking with KCCI exactly one year, just 10 minutes from the exact time Brandon lost his life. He just had that big smile. Yeah, I just miss that. Ellingson is traveling to Jefferson City, Missouri, where for the first time he'll meet face to face with Anthony Piercy Monday, the Missouri State Trooper he blames for his son's death. Piercy will be the first of several depositions in a civil lawsuit filed against Piercy and the Highway Patrol. I'm just real uh, curious to see what he has to say and uh, just to see what. Uh, you know what kind of a cruel individual he is. Friends and family spent Sunday mourning Brandon's loss, even decorating his grave, lighting candles around the country to remember pictures and messages Brandon's mom has been seeing all day. We spoke to her from Arizona. We're planning to sit down with a glass of wine and go through the photo albums and light the candle and uh, share, share stories. Sherry says she's amazed at all the support. All the tributes sent to her throughout the day. Through text messages, on Facebook, through phone calls, um, Brandon's remembered. Families say now they just want Piercy to tell the truth and for justice to be served. Some accountability has to happen here, and um, I'm not going to be happy till it does. Sherry Ellingson will stay in Arizona during those depositions. They'll be taped if she wants to watch them later. Craig Ellingson says he expects a decision soon from a special prosecutor. Live in the newsroom, Jason Rantala, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.